Hi, this is Dave Stein. Welcome to Inside the Exhibit. I hope you enjoy taking a look at a couple of representative pieces that will be in my show and uh, listening a little bit to and seeing um, how my works come to pass. My intent with this exhibit is to not only show some of my work, but also show some reference photos and uh, photos of works in process um, to sort of unpack how these images uh, come to be and and maybe inspire some creativity or some uh, new work uh, with those that view it. So let's jump right in. The first work I want to show you is called Carpet Crawlers Number no. 6, Crate and Comforter. This is the first new work completed after my spouse and I moved to the area in 2017 from southwestern Virginia. Um, this one was created in early 2018. It's 18 by 24 acrylic on canvas. Um, I work pretty much exclusively with acrylic and a little bit of mixed media uh, these days since about 2012. When I first started painting in the 80s, I used oils exclusively. Um, don't have the patience for them now. And I'm just enjoying the way that it works look. So um, if that changes, I'll, I'll use something else. Um, so I see things in carpets. Um, this series started a few years back when I uh, noticed a face-like shape in a living room carpet and um, I come back to this as a source of inspiration periodically. Most of my work is either inspired by shapes and faces and things like that that I've seen that I just want to explore visually. Uh, maybe 50% of my work is that and the two that we're going to look at are in that uh, category and then the other 50% or so of my work is uh, may include those types of images but is uh, inspired more by uh, social uh, commentary, memories, um, basically controversial or difficult subjects. Um, I will use controversy and, and difficulty, uh, pain, uh, uh, emotional or spiritual pain uh, to stimulate the artistic process. But these two, um, fear not, are not in that category. Um, these are just fun uh, visual inspirations. So here's the completed work and uh, if you want to take a minute to look at it uh, without listening to me, uh, just hit pause. Here is the picture uh, from which uh, the painting uh, came. Uh, taking a look there at the carpet, I saw some interesting forms and shapes. So, painted them. And if you take a look between the two, you'll see similarities, but you'll also see differences. And the differences to me are um, what's most intriguing and interesting about the process. I will sketch in the general form of what I want to paint. And then I'll notice as I'm painting um, images and elements that appear, as they appear, I will either push them back into the background or I will make them more well-defined and, and bring them out. And as I'm doing that, I usually discover more and more. Um, and often after I'm done painting, I will see elements uh, of the painting, images within the painting, shapes, ideas, uh, completely unintentional, often, um, some common elements are uh, flower-like shapes, bird-like shapes, human forms, things like that. Um, let's move on. The next one I wanted to take a look at is called Pareidolian Number no. 9, Tenacity of the Predator. Uh, Pareidolia is the tendency to recognize faces, figures, and meaningful forms in random settings. This one's 22 by 28. Uh, was completed in 2019. Um, I also see things in trees and rocks, and I have now perhaps you as well. Uh, this is the completed work. Again, pause if you'd like to take a look at it, or you can go over to my website, find out all you want about me and my work uh, at dsartist.com. That's dsartist.com. But here's the completed um, Hiking with my spouse in Falls Creek Gorge, I saw this sort of face-like figure and uh, took a picture, picture of it. And then sitting at my home office desk uh, one evening, I, I saw an owl flying across the front yard, uh, probably going after a, a mouse or a chipmunk or something like that, and, and had my phone ready enough to get this blurry photo, which I was really about to uh, delete. Um, but I noticed the, the motion was just intriguing. Um, and so when I had a blank canvas next, 
I combined that image with the uh, the most recent pareidolia I had seen at Falls Creek Gorge, and uh, this is the result. So as you can see, there's a lot going on here that's not in those photographs. Um, elements of uh, and shapes that that seem to be um, in motion. Uh, I enjoy the motion of this piece and and the intricacy of the um, line elements. Uh, again, none of this was pre-planned and just had a lot of fun with this painting and uh, hope you enjoy it. So I especially hope to see you in person uh, at, at the next TAF event um, as things open up. Uh, also, of course, for the um, full exhibit, gallery reception information is there and I really want to encourage you to uh, check out the links below. Uh, check out the great work of Tippecanoe Arts Federation since scheduling my show. I've become and am a proud board member of TAF and uh, a proud supporter of uh, everything that TAF is doing uh, to enrich our community. So uh, check all that out below and uh, again hope to see you soon. Thank you.